Federal government set to suspend payment of import duties on food, drugs, other essential items. On the foreign scene, Russian President Vladimir Putin warns Russia could provide weapons to strike West. And in sport, Nigeria's women under 20 team to face Germany, Venezuela, South Korea in Group D at 2024 World Cup. Now the details, I am Dele Agadumo. In a bid to continue to bring infrastructural development to the grassroots and to fulfill mm -hmm. Governor mm -hmm. Bajide mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mandate, mandate of making Lagos state a 21st century, century economy, Lagos State Government, government has commenced the construction of a 1.3-kilometer road in Ayuba Basham Street, a Lukuji community area of Ijeja LCDA Ikorudu. The project, which is intended to improve road networks in the community and to help reduce travel time for vehicles and humans, was flagged off by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Rural Development, Nuruddin Yekinyagwaje, at the project site. Ekinia Abaji said the road construction is one of the numerous projects that Mr. Gardner has earmarked for rural communities in fulfillment of the Themes Plus agenda of his administration. He reiterated that the construction of roads in these communities is a strategic effort by the state government to engender ease of movement and to reduce rural urban migration. The commissioner urged residents of the community to take ownership of the project, which is scheduled to be completed in 12 months. The Lagos State Christian Pilgrims Welfare Board, LSCPWB, has concluded the second and final phase of the medical and administrative screening exercise for the year 2024 Easter Intending Pilgrims. The screening exercise held at the Chapel of Christ the Light was done in collaboration with the Nigeria Christian Pilgrim Commission, NCPC, and other relevant agencies of government in charge of verifying travel documents. According to the board secretary, Milton Dean Buffet, the medical screening exercise was necessary to ensure the physical fitness of internal pilgrims. Who was represented by the board's deputy director of operations, Kendi Omishere, said the state government wants to be sure that all the intended pilgrims traveling for the pilgrimage have all requisite travel documents with verifiable medical history to back on the journey. The board secretary also stated that the screening exercise would assist the medical team to take along appropriate medications that would meet the medical needs of the intended pilgrims. The Lagos State House of Assembly has reaffirmed its commitment to continue working towards a brighter, more rewarding future for all. The House, in a statement to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the 10th Assembly and signed by Chairman, Committee on Information, Strategy and Security, Stephen Ogundipe, says it remains resolute in its mission to enhance the welfare of people, uphold the principles of democracy and ensure its actions always reflect the will and aspirations of those it serves. It expresses the Assembly's unwavering commitment to serving the people and fostering inclusive growth, stressing that over the past year, the 10th Assembly has demonstrated its dedication to passing landmark legislation, facilitating meaningful public engagement, enhancing transparency and accountability, and empowering constituents through effective representation. It says the 10th Assembly has added value and aided the performance of Governor Bajide Sangwonu in the delivery of democratic dividends to Lagosians, acknowledging the leadership role of the Speaker, Mudashiro Obasa, and commending the efforts of members, staff, and partners who have worked diligently to drive progress that places the House above the common standard of excellence. Now to the rest of the stories. The federal government may have set in motion a plan to suspend the payment of import duties on staple food items, drugs, and other essential items for an initial period of six months as a measure to curb inflation. This was contained in an executive order to be issued by the president titled Inflation Reduction and Price Stability, Fiscal Policy Measures Order 2024. 
It also includes plans to waive levies on fertilizers, poultry feed, flour and grains. The executive order will mandate the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank of Nigeria to devise a plan for offering low-interest loans to the agriculture, pharmaceutical and manufacturing sectors. It also recommends import duty and VAT suspension on specified items, including importation of paddy rice by millers and import duty exchange rate peg. The federal government has launched Accessibility Committee saddled with implementing the country's Disability Act. Senior Special Assistant to the President on Special Needs and Equal Opportunities, Mohammed Abba Issa, gave the warning saying President Balatinubu will launch the Presidential Committee for Accessibility in the third quarter of this year. According to Abba Issa, Public offices not accessible to people living with disabilities will be sealed. He said ministries, departments and agencies, NDAs, that fail to ensure easy accessibility for people with disabilities will be sanctioned as part of the implementation policy of disability inclusion. The Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC, has called for complete autonomy for local government councils across the country. The Commission said it was lending its support to the federal government's legal efforts to free the local governments from the control of state government by enforcing the Constitution's provisions. In a statement, RMAFC Chairman Mohammed Shim said the local governments, as the third chair of government, should operate independently of state and federal governments to ensure effective grassroots governance. Now to foreign news. Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that Moscow could arm countries with a view to attacking Western targets. Putin made the statement while speaking to foreign journalists at the annual St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. He warned that the West was wrong to assume that Moscow would never use nuclear weapons, criticizing its delivery of long-range weapons to Ukraine. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has given Ukraine permission to use American-supplied weapons to strike targets in Russia, but only near the Kharkiv region. In a similar development, UK Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron has said it is up to Ukraine to decide how to use British weapons and insisted it has the right to strike targets on Russian territory. Now sport, Nigeria's women under 20 team, the Falconets, will face former champions Germany, Venezuela and South Korea in Group D at the 2024 FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup in Colombia. The draw ceremony took place in Bogota, Colombia on Wednesday with 24 teams set to participate in the competition for the first time. The Falconets have been runners-up twice in the competition in 2010 and 2014, losing both times to the Germans. The team's World Cup journey this year begins with a clash against the Korean Republic before facing Germany and then Venezuela to complete the group stage matches. The tournament is billed for August 31 to August 22. And matches will take place in four venues in three different cities, Bogota, Medellin, and Cali. The, two, the top two teams in each group will qualify for the round of 16 alongside the best four third-placed teams. And that is uh, the news at noon. Just before we go, always slow down at road junctions, intersections, and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sunwall Administration organized a forum for women across the 57 local government and local council development areas in the state with a view to enhancing their productivity and economic growth. 
can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Government has commenced the construction of a 1.3 kilometer road in Ayuba Basharu Street in the Uji community area of uh, Ijade LCDA Ikorudu in a bid to continue to bring infrastructure development to the grassroots and to fulfill Governor Obajide Samuelu's mandate of making Lagos State a 21st century economy. The federal government may have set in motion a plan to suspend the payment of import duties on staple food items, drugs and other essential items for an initial period of six months as a measure to curb inflation. Also told you that Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that Moscow could arm countries with a view to attacking Western targets. And in sports, Nigeria's women under-20 team, the Falconets, will face former champions Germany, Venezuela and South Korea in Group D at the 2024 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Colombia. For contact of the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the news broadcast compiled by Adesua Ijeoka. I am Dele Agadumo. Good afternoon. Thank you for listening.